So you want to ride 100 miles. A century. A hundo. No matter how you slice it, 100 miles is a big day in the saddle. But lucky for you, I've been riding bikes seriously since the year 2000. Which means I've distilled all I've learned into six simple steps to help you on your way to becoming a centurion. Why does it feel like I'm pushing a fake religion? The first thing you're gonna need is a modern working bicycle. Pretty much any bike is gonna do. Just make sure it's properly functioning. It doesn't need to be the lightest thing in the world. It doesn't need to be high end. It doesn't need to be high end. Don't let my bike fool you. I'm just a master at the dark arts of convincing bike brands that they need to have their bikes on this channel. Your bike company will thrive when you send the latest and greatest to everything's been done. And material doesn't matter. Any well-maintained bike is gonna be fine. And for long distance, I find a drop bar bike is the most comfortable. The other thing to note is this takes time. How much time is gonna depend on the fitness level you have and what kind of schedule you have to work with. Consistency is key with cycling. Ride as much as you can during the week, whether it's commuting or riding before or after work, and then start building up longer rides on the weekend. 20 miles, 30 miles, 40 miles, 50 miles. And if you're real tight on time, high intensity interval training can help. It's intense workouts for a short period of time, but they're not for the faint of heart. But there's a lot of plans out there and it can be very overwhelming to find out which one works for you, which is why I suggest using the Garmin Connect app. It's free, it's easy to use. They even have a program for doing a century. If you're a Garmin user, you're stoked. And even if you're not, I'm pretty sure you can use it without their devices. Okay. If you're feeling pain on your bike that's beyond fatigue, it's your bike fit. And rest assured, this can be resolved. The DIY version is to adjust one thing at a time, ride it, and see how it feels. The pro version is to go to a professional bike fitter to get your bike dialed in. And this will help you make sure that the only pain you feel is the challenge of cycling. And once you've got a fit, you can use these numbers on any future bikes or setups you might have. And you don't necessarily have to go to the fitter every time you change something. Hi, I am professional endorsement athlete here to tell you to check out the Cease and Desist collection on the Everything's Been Done gear shop. They've got this cap and this illegal t-shirt. Check out the link below on the internet, the EBD gear shop, the greatest place on the internet to find the greatest things on the internet. Every body is different, and the type of fuel and nutrition that you'll need on a ride is gonna be different from the next. So dial in your food and nutrition needs while you're training. That way there'll be no experimentation on your big day, minimizing your chance of failure, or amplifying your chance of success. Whoa. I don't know if it's crazier that this is here or that it works. Okay, essential gear for this mission, from the nose to the toes. I went with the Smith Network Helmet and Momentum Glasses. Combo unit to keep my head just right. For the torso cover, I went with the Gore Torrent Long Sleeve. I ultimately use these as sun protection. Plus, I like the color. For bibs, perfect for the occasion, Gore Distance Bibs. 
They're made to go long, and that's what we're doing today. We're going far. Wool or not socks stuffed into Giro Empires. I've had these for several years. The look is good, the fit is right. I'm so winded. Oh, and today we're riding the Villier Cento 10 Pro. Carbon plastic race rocket that's made to go fast and look good doing it. And I also decided to take the Mission Workshop half frame bag because uh, I like to over prepare. I also have a fanny pack from Chrome. I get anxious about stuff, so I gotta bring it all with me. <laughs> I'll put links to anything I used or I think that you'll find useful down below. Similar to nutrition, dial in your gear on your training rides. On the day of your big ride, don't decide to swap out your saddle and try a new pair of shoes. That is a fool's errand and could spell disaster for your big ride. Other thing to consider is don't rush yourself. Take your time and patience with your training and definitely don't go hot and heavy on the day of your big ride. You're gonna blow yourself up and have no energy left for mile 99. Remember, slow and steady wins the ride. What are my 102 mile embarrassing snacks of choice? Snickers ice cream bar, string cheese, salt and vinegar chips, and unsweetened green tea. And if you're curious of how many miles I'm putting in today, well, you're gonna have to follow me on Strava to find out. I'll put a link down below. Now the last thing you'll have to do is check out this video where I go over the essential basics for those that are interested in riding gravel. You can take this video and that video and do a 100 mile gravel ride and be a certified badass. 100% guaranteed certified badass. You are such a player.